Hi, I'm Ro. You may know me as the official Turn the Lights Off enthusiast, resident Kesa enjoyer, and the only Skybox fan that probably exists in the year 2022. But did you also know that I'm really into OSHA? And that I'm an even bigger fan of Half-Life? You know, little game, that little indie game from 1998 by Gabe Newell. Classic. Well, let's talk about Black Mesa, shall we? I devised a plan in February where I would count as many OSHA violations I could find in Black Mesa and see just how much money they would owe to the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, also known as OSHA. I have spent the last six months of my life on this project, on and off, but mostly in the past two months, to see. So, uh, yeah. Let's get right into it. Uh, categorize the last few that are the major points, but these are the biggest offenders, marked as W in my chart. So let's start off with uh, basically the first couple minutes of the game. Uh, while you're on that tram ride, uh, you pass over a pit full of toxic sludge. And there is a scientist standing right next to it. No protection. Not even an HEV suit. Just a lab coat. That's not good. I don't, I don't need to explain to you how that could possibly hurt somebody. Nevertheless caused, like, radiation poisoning. And they have robots too, but there's still a guy there. Probably the thing you're wondering most of all is, uh, ResCas. Uh, and, um... Like I said earlier, it's uh, very difficult to categorize because there is so much that happens. Reporting of injuries, reporting of fatalities, they do an absolute horrible job about that. Nobody ever does anything to report those countless lives lost thanks to the aliens and just the Resonance Cascade explosion as a whole. There's lasers, there's fire, there's just like utter chaos and the entire anomalous materials team don't have the proper knowledge of what to do in a resonance cascade situation they say that it's unlikely but when it does they don't know what to do and they can't stop it so they should have an emergency plan but they don't they just have like let's just see it, see if it works it'll work we promise don't worry about it we'll be fine Nobody knows what's going to happen. I mean, most people from the Lambda Complex are n of the knowledge of, hey, there's other worlds. We're working on a teleporter. Let's just see what, let's just mess around and find out. Gordon Freeman doesn't know. He doesn't know that there's going to be aliens. Also, let's just talk about Gordon Freeman for a second. This guy is a 27-year-old graduated from MIT. There is no possible way he could have had training to receive a gun. I... Barney, probably, because he's the security guard. He is trained to have a gun. But the only training that Gordon gets is with the HEV suit. Not guns, not what to do in a catastrophic scenario. Just how to handle the HEV suit. And he doesn't even do that right. The HEV suit has helmets, but he doesn't wear a helmet! So every single time he swims through radiation, that's going into the HEV suit. And this carries over to Half-Life 2 as well. He didn't just <laughs> put in my helmet! <laughs> I'm getting so heated over this, oh my god. <laughs> Another doozy. There is a portion of the game where you're on a cart, on a rail, you know, and you hit the guardrails. Good for guardrails, but not good for how much velocity you're reaching with the speed of your cart. So it, when you hit it, that's a head-on collision. You fly off into that pit of sludge, of radiation, of gross that's like on you. I shouldn't have to. I shouldn't have to be the one to explain to you why that's dangerous and why that could pose a threat to anybody 
What if just some regular guy without a hazard suit on just fell into that? That would probably cause him to immediately die. And not even that, when you fly off, you take damage. That stuff hurts you. If you don't get out in time, you will die. And that's not good. Another part during the end of On a Rail, you hit a bumpy track and you end up flying through on a different track and crashing through a bunch of soldiers and into a pit. Thankfully, there's water at the bottom, but what if there wasn't? Why would there be such an available access portion of your train tracks that could lead into a pit where it, its only covering was just a couple pieces of plywood? Next is uh, one of my favorite parts. Uh, it's where you, uh, you go into that little factory spot and there's a bunch of things that press and that's radiation there's more radiation at least half of this game is radiation i mean it lives up to his name that's open machinery that's radiation that's skin exposure that's no guardrails because the guardrails are broken nevertheless if you fall into that pit you will both get radiation poisoning and get crushed isn't that fun questionable ethics is probably my favorite part of the game if i'm gonna be honest uh the pita cutting room mamma mia it's that's a doozy first of all we've got open machinery we've got uh, guardrails we've got like sharp objects and there's no off switch if there is a automated malfunctioning autopsy machine that spins circular saw blades very quickly and very wildly, and there is no off switch, that's a violation. That's not even a violation, that's at least four. So that's a good $145,027. Any portion with a teleporter I count as a violation due to its spinning and moving parts that require it to work. There aren't any guardrails. In fact, you go down a ladder at some point and you enter into a little section that opens into the teleporter, but there's no door, there's nothing there that could possibly protect you from if you accidentally put your arm in there, it would probably come right off. In fact, in this example, isn't even touching it and immediately just pew, the Lambda Complex is the only part in this game that doesn't have that many OSHA violations because it's the most funded. You ever wonder about that? How they funnel all of their money into the Lambda Complex, but not for the people who are conducting the experiment. Only the people who are researching it and working on making it to send off to people who are less trained less prepared, and less knowledgeable. In fact, when you walk into the Lambda Complex, you answer to a scientist, and he's like, well, gee, like, you weren't, you weren't supposed to know about this, but I don't see how that bothers you. For the love of God, need-to-know basis stuff doesn't apply here. Everybody should know what could happen and what to do if and when it happens. Not just, it might happen, but it'll be fine. That's not gonna work. Those were my main gripes with Black Mesa. Let's get into the statistics of this. Uh, coming in at the, the number one spot for the most amounts of violation is fall production. There are several pits or poorly given ladders that could break and cause injury and guardrails immediately follows that with 13.1 percent closely enough most pits don't have guardrails most just drop including elevator shafts which you could just easily fall back into the elevator that leads into the lambda complex does not have any sort of guardrails or something that could protect you from a fall. In fact, it has a gap in between the shaft and the platform you stand on. 
while yes, that's meant for boxes, a human or just something could easily walk onto it and fall right through to their death. Coming in at number three is no surprise, radiation. It's in the name, 7.7%. There are so many parts of the game that require you to move barrels that contain hazardous materials, not to mention all of the things that fling you into radiation. At number four is 5.4%, and that is lasers. Most lasers in Black Mesa are both unregulated and unsupervised. There are several instances where lasers are used for decoration, and while yes, they have a glass covering over them, what if that glass breaks? I doubt that that glass is bulletproof. It could break, and when it does, that could hurt somebody. Or, if not, just cut off a limb or something. And open machinery is 3.6%. No surprise, there is so much machinery in this place. All in all, Black Mesa, from my recording, owes $16,561,209 to OSHA and the U.S. government. That's not even half of it, probably. I might have counted it wrong, because I'm just one person. There is no doubt that there's something I missed, and that fine could be more. So, to everybody who works at the Black Mesa Research Facility, I would suggest cleaning up before your next OSHA regulation visit. Hiya. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Uh, I wanted to share my notes for the, the video in my uh, officially licensed Pokemon Meowstic notebook that I've had since 2018. I've never- <laughs> I barely used it. It's only for this project. But I do have some silly notes and little doodles that I wanted to share. Uh, and then there's a tiny little- oh jeez. There's a tiny little Gordon Freeman that just says helmet. We've got uh, a hound eye, a bull squid, and a Whatever that fish thing that lives in the waters that I forgot to mention in the video, but that's a big problem. Uh, we got Barney, we got Alex, and Snark.